Hi guys, welcome to the video. So today we'll take a look on the third mission from Lord of the Rings Reborn project. And as you can see, this mission is called the Bree. And there are people of the Bree and Nazgals again. So let's start this and let's see where this takes us. You can see we are starting with no dialogue, no cutscene. Try to get through the gate to Bree and go to the Prancing Pony. So this is the gate. There is a gatekeeper once again, the scene from the film. Here we of course have the four hobbits that we rescued or managed to escape from Nazgul's in the last uh, last mission. And now let's get through the gate of Bree. There will be of course a dialogue. Huh? What do you want? We are headed for the Prancing Pony. Hobbits, four hobbits, and what is more, out of the Shire by your talk. What business brings you to Bree? We wish to stay at the inn. Our business is our own. All right, young sir, I meant no offense. Tis old Harry's job to ask questions after nightfall. There is talk of strange folk abroad. Cannot be too careful. I live to serve. Okay, so he let us through. Now we are going through the Bree, as you can see once again, recreated in terms of even shape of the roads and everything right from the movie. Excellent idea. There is an inn, but that's not the prancing pony inn. We can already see it on the minimap revealed. It's right here. So we have to get there. Some villagers around. You can even uh, go through some secret parts of the village that you wouldn't normal you wouldn't normally see, and you'll find some interesting things like this jerang guy here, maybe even beaten up by these other villagers, which seem definitely quite angry and dangerous. And you have some other villagers talking around, everything with rain, as always. And now we have the prancing pony here, so let's get to it. Good idea. Excuse me. Good evening, little masters. If you are seeking accommodation, we have got some nice, cozy hobbit-sized rooms available. Mister. Ender Hill. My name is Ender Hill. We are friends of Gandalf the Grey. Can you tell him we have arrived? Gandalf. Gandalf. Oh, oh, yes. I remember. Elderly chap. Big grey beard. Pointy hat. Not seen him for six months. What do we do now? What is that? This, my friend, is a pint. It comes in pints. I am getting one. Excuse me. That man in the corner. Who is he? He is one of them rangers. They are dangerous folk they are. Wandering the wilds. What his right name is. I never heard. But round here he is known as Strider. Baggins. Sure I know of Baggins. He is over there. Pippin. You cannot hide. I live to serve. I see you. There is no life in the void. You draw far too much attention to yourself, Mr. Underhill. I am here, my lord. What do you want? Excellent idea. A little more caution from you. That is no trinket you carry. I know what hunts you. Let him go, or I will have you. What one chance. Be done? You have a stout heart, little hobbit, but that alone will not save you. You can no longer wait for the wizard Frodo. They are coming. What are they? They were once men, great kings of men. Then Sauron the Deceiver gave to them nine rings of power. Blinded by their greed, they took them without question, 
one by one falling into darkness. Now they are slaves to his will. They are the Nazgul, ring rays, neither living nor dead. At all times they feel the presence of the ring, drawn to the power of the one. They will never stop hunting you. Yes, sir. I await further okay, so this is probably all for the cutscenes. So just to recapitulate a little bit, we arrived to the Prancing Pony. Here we talked with the innkeeper, we found out that Gandalf is not here. Uh, then uh, Frodo got kinda revealed there by one of his uh, hobbit friends. So he put on the ring in panic and that brought the Wraith, uh, Wraiths here, the Nazgul's ring Wraiths. Uh, uh, brought them here, it caught their attention of course because they see the ring and especially when someone puts it on and then Aragorn, the ranger, uh, acted and took uh, took Frodo and then also the other hobbits to this other house and hid them from the Nazgils, so they escaped them. Yes, sir. And now we also play as uh, for Aragorn, as you can see he has 1200 HP, 50 damage, 2 armor and also fire torch that we will need later in the mission and we received a quest to escape from the breathe through a secret back exit and then reach the tower of Amon Sul. So right now let's escape through the secret back, back exit, we can already see it on the minimap once again. Yeah, there is a broken wall, so we have to get there and get out of the village uh, that way. As you can see, once the ring rates arrive, the uh, village is kinda empty already. Yeah, there is a venge, but definitely not as many hobbits as we saw before. So we escaped. There should be more dialogues. Let's wait for us to peep in. Into the wild. Hold the line. My orders are How do we know this Strider is a friend orders. of Gandalf? I think a servant of the enemy would look fairer and feel fouler. He is foul enough. We have no choice but to trust him. Gentlemen, we do not stop till nightfall. What about breakfast? You already had it. We had one, yes. What about second breakfast? I do not think he knows about second breakfast, Pip. Yeah, so this is probably everything. Uh, the dialogues are a little bit moved from the audio in terms of the text, but I didn't know how to work perfectly with it at the time, so... Try to excuse me for that. Now we reach the Tower of Amonsul. It's a little bit behind, but yeah, now we should be teleported here. What are you doing? Tomatoes, sausages, and crispy bacon. We saved some for you, Mr. Frodo. Put it out, you fools. Put it out. What needs to be done? Huh? As you can see, uh, Sam was making some sausages here and uh, started the fire, which brought the attention of Nazgul's. So now we have to escape from them, run away from Nazgul's to the top of the Tower of Amonzul, which is right here. So that's the first objective. Once again, Pippin is a little bit slower, so we need to wait for him. Excellent idea. Nazgul's are huh? right behind us, but we Doesn't should be able to end. escape them. Excellent idea. Let's do it. And now he's moving to another phase, get Aragorn to the top of the Tower of Amonzul. So now we are controlling Aragorn, who was, check, uh, who was just looking for some wood in the forests. And now he heard the Nazgul's and he's returning to save the Hobbits, so we have to get him to the tower, to the top of the tower of Amonzul and then save Hobbits by defeating the Nazgul's. That is why we have the Fire Torch. Uh, it's sometimes a good idea to save the missions, especially when there is so many dialogues. Uh, so I'm gonna use probably for example the Anedor test. 
safe for this. I don't really want to create new ones, so let's use this one. Once again, uh, dramatic music of Nazgul's. And this is quite tricky, and obviously they have lots of damage. That is healing, but not that easy to use. As you can see, Frodo has been stabbed by the main Nazgul here. And now he's bleeding heavily, so we need to save him. So let's get in here. Let's use the fire torch. We just spawn the fire here, and now we have to get the Nazgul's through the fire. As you can see, it's killing them. Unfortunately, one of them is following me, so I'll have to escape him. You can run in circles if you do it right, but unfortunately I wasn't too focused on it. Uh, I'm a little bit faster than him, so I should be able to outrun him. Once it start uh, retreating, we can also retreat and uh, kill more of them. I think we already killed one with the fire. This one is already a half HP. Usually he doesn't follow you for so long time, but as I said, I was a little bit too slow, so even though I'm faster than him, he followed me for a little bit. Now he started returning, but as I said, he's slower, so I need to wait a little bit anyways. Uh, this is just one time use ability, as you can see it costs 50 mana, you don't even have mana regeneration, you just use it one time and this fire spawns. Yeah, of course in the film it's a little bit, uh, a little bit more complicated, or complicated is just better displayed, he has a torch in his hand and he's actually fighting the Nazgûls with that, but I can't really rec recreate that, I can't give him a torch into his hand with dynamic light or whatever and give him some fire damage, so I created it this way, that he just lit up uh, the environment with fire. So I think the Nazgul has maybe already died to the fire, so let's try to lurk another one out. Sometimes you to lurk them through the fire to the side like this. I think you don't take damage from the fire, so it should be quite good. You can see you can easily take them out like this, if you play the well, you don't even have to run away. And we managed to kill them. I live to serve. Help him, Strider. He has been stabbed by a Morgul blade. This is beyond my skill to heal. He needs elvish medicine. Hurry. We are six days from Rivendell. We must bring Frodo and the others to the forest. Because as you can see, Frodo is still heavily bleeding, even though there is a healing fountain, it's not helping him at all. He's constantly being brought to one HP. So we must bring him to this location in the forest. Peace must be restored. What needs to be yeah, you don't really have to worry about Pippin, he's really slow, but in um, many scenarios it doesn't even matter. Even though I think you have to bring all the hobbits here, yeah, you have to bring Frodo and the other hobbits, the others actually, to the forest, so I think you will have to wait for him. Live to serve. Uh, we can at least take a look on the Bree once again. Uh, we don't see the rain there when we don't have it revealed, but I think it still looks pretty nice. Of course, it's much bigger yeah? if you take a look on it in the editor or you just uh, explore it before you arrive at the Prancing Pony or after you deal with the Nazgul's here. You can take a look on it, it's much bigger. Much more details, so you can go through it if you are interested in that kind of things. Here are some reindeers in the forest. A huge tree with some small light. And Pippin should be here in a second. And of course another cutscene will happen. Frodo, M. Arwen, Telin Lethbed. Lasto Beth Nin, Tolo Dan Nine Alad. He is fading, he is not going to last. We must get him to my father. Dartho Ginbiria, Reach Lad Tolthothan. Hun Mebafan, Rachin Elintim. Awo, Ride Hard, do not look back. Yeah, 
Yeah, this is the end of this mission. So we met Arwen. Uh, she wants to save Frodo, but uh, needs to bring him to uh, to the Rivendell. Uh, of course, to the other elves that will help save him. Uh, we had some small dialogue in Elvish, uh, but you have the translation always in the text, so uh, you should be able to understand it. And you'll set some really nice music together with this arrival of Arwen. Let's take a look on the results. Probably nothing too interesting. We didn't even kill the Nazgul, that was the fire, so they just lost 9 units. You can see the population of Bree here, but obviously that's only the people that are outside of houses. And yeah, nothing too interesting around it. 17 minutes is getting a little bit longer, of course. Longer dialogues and overall much bigger maps with many more objectives. But still pretty quick, of course. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, uh, we are continuing through the storyline and next time we'll probably uh, get to Rivendell, but maybe there is actually one more scene before that, we'll see, I'm not gonna spoil anything, uh, so yeah, thanks for watching and take care guys.